Hello and welcome to NRG Stadium here in Houston for CBN's coverage of the 2016 Men's Final Four, where Villanova, Oklahoma, Syracuse, and North Carolina all came here with one goal in mind, to win the NCAA National Championship in title. Now, of course, Villanova and North Carolina will advance to play in the championship game, but hey, let's face it, for 18, 19, and 20-year-olds, that's a lot of pressure at this event, whether you advance to the championship game or not. But I got a chance to talk with players from all four teams, and some say they found a way to deal with that pressure, and they're not just here playing for a national title, but also to lift up the name of the Lord. My faith has been able to keep my feet on the ground just because we know that everything's in God's hands. Uh, we, we prepare our hardest and we always talk about this as a team is we can only prepare so much and then the rest is in Jesus Christ and God's hands. So we're just going to go out there and perform as well as we can and it's Christ is going to take over at some point and lead us to the right destination. Villanova's Josh Hart put up 23 points against the Sooners in the semifinal. Unlike Patrick, he says it's because of his faith in the Lord. You can't be successful without it. Um, you know, it, it, it goes hand in hand with, you know, with, with your skill set, with, you know, with everything. So it's something that you have to have uh, just to be successful, you know, obviously in basketball, but just, you know, in any walk of life. The Oklahoma Sooners had a great run to get to this year's Final Four, beating out number one seeded Oregon. And junior guard Daniel Harper says he feels so blessed because it provides a platform for them to shine bright for Christ. Oh, just being a Christian, it, it means everything, being out there and uh, being a role model to the young kids and being able to express our faith and show our faith and uh, show how strong that is uh, on the biggest stage in college basketball. It's huge. Uh, I believe in Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Um, I'm, a, I'm always praying. I'm a praying man. Um, that's why I look up to Buddy so much because he's, he's a praying man. Um, I just love the Lord. Um, I try to live my life right. I mean, nobody's perfect, but I mean, I, I always try to take the right path, you know. Senior guard Buddy Hild grew up in Eight Mile Rock, a settlement on the island of Grand Bahama. Through hard work and prayer, he is one of the few to make it out successfully with basketball. And he gives all the glory to God. I always got faith in the Lord. So I always give thanks to God, and I just keep on crediting him for everything he's done for me, and I never forget that. Many couldn't imagine 10th seeded Syracuse making it to the Final Four. And though they fell short against North Carolina in the semifinal, Chinosu Obaku and Caleb Joseph understand what's most important and give all the credit to the Lord for helping them go as far as they did. Everything that's happening right now, I just, I, I think it's God. You know, he, God just made it possible. It, it, it doesn't matter what anybody say or uh, anybody do because it's not in our own power. It, it, it's about the lost power. Uh, my faith in Jesus Christ means everything to me. Um, God, Jesus is the reason why um, I wake up every day. If you don't have that relationship, then um, you can kind of get lost in, in, in some of the, the external things. Um, but when, when you have a real relationship with Jesus Christ, um, I think it gives your life purpose and um, everything starts to make sense. It starts to click. The North Carolina Tar Heels are the only number one seed left. For some of the players, their faith has a lot to do with their success. In their locker room, that starts with former NBA player, Tar Heel, and current assistant coach, Hubert Davis. Well, it is my life. Um, the most important thing in my life is my relationship with Jesus, and um, I'm so thankful that he's, um, you know, given me an opportunity to be here back at, at North Carolina. And 25 years ago, I was in the Final Four against Coach Williams, and uh, we ended up losing. But to be back 25 years later and uh, working with Coach Williams, and uh, here at North Carolina, having a chance to win a national championship is pretty awesome. It's been everything. Like I said, we wouldn't be here without Christ, and we have to give all the praise and the glory to him. Um, you know, every time I step on the court, I say a prayer, and it's, it's his will, not mine. Um, I mean, nothing else. I could want to go off for 40 points, but if that's not what he wants me to do, if that's not what he has planned, then that's not what he has planned. And, you know, he's blessed me to have this type of plan to make it to the Final Four. Um, you know, obviously you hope that his plan is to have us keep going. Um, but whatever his plan is, that's, that's what it is for my life. Senior guard Justin Coleman is simply thankful to be here. After injuring his spine in high school, he was told he would never play basketball again. Now, his team is playing for a national championship. He says he has a bright future, and it's all because of his trust in the Lord. What Jesus Christ meant through that journey? Uh, Jesus Christ meant everything. Um, God, I know it's... God has been everywhere um, in my life every day and every 
every moment. You know, he's been my saving grace all the time. You know, I'm supposed to be paralyzed. I know he's been there, and it's not just that. It's through everything. A lot of things have fallen into place. I know who it is, so it's just been amazing.